After moves d4 and b5, he reach a very unusual defence known as the Polish defence. The idea of playing such a move is that you're hoping to maybe develop your bishop onto b7, and if the knight ever comes to c3, you can discombobulate the knight with a move such as b4. So an example continuation goes as followed. e4 has been played, and here now the bishop comes to b7 immediately, going onto this long diagonal. Here white shouldn't take this pawn on b5, as it will allow for a favourable trade for black, in that he gets a central pawn for one of his own flank pawns. Here bishop to d3 is the best move, defending his own pawn, and now white can build up a solid centre with moves such as c3 if, let's say, uh, c5 comes into play. Here moves such as knight to f6 have been played, and after moves such as this, white gets a nice advantage in this position, but black's position is far from uh, defeated.